Hello guys, welcome to this uh, video. This one is uh, paper 2-2 of May, June 2018, question 8. And that is a requested question. So this one is a uh, similarity question. And I am pretty sure that you guys will get one question like this for your exam. So make sure to follow this question uh, step by step properly, okay? So let's move on to the information. So first we have OYC is a triangle. So OYC is the big triangle. Now, A is a point on OY, B is a point on CY, okay? Now we have A, B, and OC, they are parallel with each other. That's good to know. Now, we have AC and OB intersect at X. As you can see, they both intersect at this point. Now, part one, prove that triangle ABX, so A, B, X, is similar to triangle COX, C, O, X. So prove that these two triangles are similar with each other. So how can you prove two triangles are similar? You can prove by showing that all the angles, all the corresponding angles are equal. That is one way of showing that they are similar. So let's do that. So the first thing we can observe is that AB is parallel with OC, which means that if you have this angle here, it will be equal to the same angle over here because they are alternate angle and these two lines are parallel with each other. Now same thing, uh, this angle here will be the same as this one. And finally, these two angles, they will be the same because they are vertically opposite or they are just the third angle of a triangle. So now let's put this down into words. So part one, so for this triangle ABX first, so we can say that angle A, B, X is equal to angle C, O, X because you can write alternate angles. That's the first reason. Now next one, we can write B, A, X is equal to angle O, C, X because they are also alternate angles. And finally, the angle AXB is equal to angle OXC because they are vertically opposite to each other. Okay, so by showing that all the angles are, all the corresponding angles are the same, we have shown that triangle ABX is similar to triangle COX. Okay, that is your first part of this question. Now let's move on to part B. So first information, OA is equal to 3, OC equal to uh, 6C, this is 3A, and the ratio of CB and BY is 1 to 2. So let's mark this down on our diagram, okay? So first thing we know is OA is 3, so this one is given by 3a and then we know that OC is so OC is 6c and the ratio of CB and BY is 1 to 2 that's their ratio now the first question here as you can see we have to express in terms of a or C first one is AB so how can you find AB now you have to go back to your diagram to find AB. AB will be this line. But as uh, if you guys know by now, for example, let's say I have a triangle. Let me draw a triangle here. For example, let's say my triangle is like this. This is my triangle ABC, for example. And this is uh, this direction. Now, if I were to draw another line here, which is above this triangle, let's say this is my point uh, D and E. So from this, since these two lines are parallel with each other, I can conclude from this that triangle A, E, D is similar 
two triangle A, B, C. So same thing, same concepts. If you look at this, we have this big triangle Y, O, C, and the small triangle Y, A, B. They have parallel lines. So we know that triangle Y, O, C is similar to to triangle Y, A, B. So we have to use this, this uh, similarity to find the answers for the following questions. So let's first uh, draw something so we can understand what are we looking for. So let's take out the triangles. So we have Y, A, B, for example. That's my Y, this is my A, and this is my B. And I have the big triangle, right? This is my Y, and this is my C, and this is my O. Okay, these two are parallel with each other. Now, I have to find AB that we don't know, but we know that these two triangles are similar, right? So OC is given to us as 6C, and the ratio, the ratio of CB and BY is 1 to 2. So basically, if you were to draw a line, for example, if you draw a line, if that line was C, and this is Y, and if you had B somewhere over here, the ratio is CB will be 1, and BY will be 2. So the whole thing here is what? Is 2 plus 1 is 3. So the ratio of YB over YC will be? So we conclude that the ratio of YB over YC will be? YB is 2 and YC is 3. So that's what we conclude for these two triangles. So basically, because of that, all the corresponding side will have to be equal. So what do I mean? I mean that if I take AB, the ratio of AB, which is this side, and the corresponding side on this big triangle will be OC, will be equal to this one. So this one, small one first, YB over YC is also equal to YA over YO, which is equal to the ratio of 2 over 3. So that's why similarity means that all the corresponding sides, the ratios will be equal to the same value, which is 3 over 2. So once you know this, you can solve to find the value of AB. So look, here we have AB. So we have, we have this equation that we can write down. Um, let me write it down somewhere. <laughs> so I have some space over here. So AB over OC is equal to 2 over 3. So AB over OC is equal to 2 over 3. Now, we know the value of OC from here. So AB is equal to 2 over 3 times OC, which is 6C. Right? So by simplifying, AB will be equal to 4C. That will be your answer for part 1. Which is only one mark, but the main concept is because these two are similar, you have to first know the ratios of their corresponding side. You can form this equation that you can use any ratios to find the corresponding values. So here you have AB equal to 4C. Now moving on to part 2, you have to find CY. Now CY, as you can see, starting from C, going to Y, you have to go C, going to O, O, going to Y. Okay, So CO we know already, it is minus 6C, so CO plus OY. This is minus 6C plus OY. So how can you find OY? OY. So if you observe, you know that these two triangles, as you have seen previously, the small and the big one are similar. So we have a ratio for them as well. So as you can see here, we have a this one. So basically, YA over YO is, so let's write this down, YA over YO. So we can rewrite this down again as, it is only a ratio, we can write this down as AY over 
OY is equal to the ratio of 2 over 3 according to the similarity that we have found here right this equation now if you look at this line you will see what it means so AY this is 2 and OY this is 3 for the big one so what is this one you would say 3 minus 2 that will be 1 so if 1 equal to 3a what is OY OY will be 3 3 times this will be OY OY will be 9a right from this you realize that OY is 9a so your answer for this will become 9a minus 60 Now, uh, for part C, find in terms of its simplest form, the ratio of OX and B, XB. So now, where is OX? OX is this one, and XB will be this one. So from part A, we have realized that triangle ABX is similar to triangle COX, which means that all the corresponding side, uh, the ratios will be similar, will be the same. So we want to find the ratio of... Uh, let me check one more time. It is OX over XB. That's the ratio we want to find. So which is OX over XB. So how can you find that? Let's see uh, what can we derive from these two triangles, right? So this one is also equal to, if you observe, we're looking at the same triangle AXB and O, X, C. So these two triangles are similar, which means that if you take another ratio, they are supposed to be the same. If I take the ratio of the small one is first, so O, X is the big one. So let's take O, C, because we know this side, over the ratio of A, B, because this is the corresponding side. It will be equal to the same ratio. O, o C is equal to 6, C, and A, B is equal to, as you have seen previously, um, this one is equal to 4c so we place right here so these two will cancel out so you will have 3 over 2 so the ratio of ox and xp will be 3 over 2 that will be 3 to 2 now for part 2 uh, find the area area of cox and abx the ratio so c O X and A B X. So pretty easy. We just take their the ratio of their sides. It is three to two because it is area. As you guys know, the unit of area is something unit square. We have to square both sides. That'll become nine over four for the area. Now same logic. Find the ratio of area of triangle A Y B and triangle I'm uh, now trapezium. O A B C. So now going back to this image, so A Y B is this one. So we have this side that we know the ratio it is two to one. So how do you find area of trapezium? You will take the big one minus the this one, right? So let's write this down. So first we always begin with sides. This side of this is A Y B. A Y B. This side is two. We write down two. And trapezium, as you guys um, know, we have to take the big one minus this one. So we take 2 minus. So big one is not 2, is 3. Because if you were to add them together, the big one will be 2 plus 1 is 3. Big one is 3 minus this small one. So 3 minus 2 to get trapezium. Now, it is area. We have to square uh, both, both parts. That will become square here, square here, and square here. So of course, we will not be doing this square. We will doing individual value square. You will have 4 here. This will be 9 minus 4. So your answer will be 4, and that will be 5. Ratio of 4 to 5. OK. So that is the question number 8 of that paper. And I am pretty sure that you guys will have something alike for similarity. It is pretty common question for all level paper 2 or paper 1 even. So I hope that was somewhat helpful of understanding on how to use the uh, similarity to solve questions. Um, as always, um, I thank you for watching and I will see you soon.